Oh, oh This is a little something special. I, I just figured this out. So, and thank you to the person that subscribed, I guess, or followed. I, I heard the notification, but it, I didn't see it. I was busy sharing on uh, social media. Okay, so we've got our, in our, in our, our um, quest for uh, the Jarl of Ahala. We have, I've already put in a bunch of dialogue for him, but that's only for the quest for Thor. What I need to do is I need to make it so Thor has like miscellaneous dialogue. I've been, I've been trying to, I, 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 I got this figured out, so I know how to do this one. So we're going to make a new quest and we are going to call this one 000 and we are going to call this one Thor dialogue. And it doesn't really need a quest name because, you know, uh, untick the run once. And we're going to leave everything just like that. And the type is going to be none because it's just dialogue. Uh, we're going to call this Thor Dialogue Quest. Actually, no, I'm not even going to do that. Well, I might have to because it might have to run Thor dialogue quest and the priority we are gonna make the priority 75 on this one because this is his this is well no I better make it 60 I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna keep it the same as the other quest so okay and we're gonna push okay on that so that it when you open it back up, you get all the all the things over here. Now, you could do it like this to where you you walk up and then you have to link all your dialogue in and what you say to him. But we're not going to be doing that. Uh, we're going to do the miscellaneous dialogue this time. All right. So you click on the miscellaneous tab right here and then you right click here. In the topics and new topic, and we're gonna say the hellos, and it'll say Thor dialogue, and you gotta put a end on it. We're gonna call it hellos. Okay, and I need some music, so give me one second here while I bring up my music. And yeah, that's better. All right, so we got the uh, first one here. Now we need a script, and I'm gonna drop this stuff down because it just so happens script, and it's in the Valhalla script because I got a whole whole Valhalla script here. It's down here at the bottom. All right, and this is my Thor miscellaneous dialogue. So the first one we're gonna do is Eyes Up Traveler. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click over in the info box over here in this white area. We're gonna click new 
and this will come up and we're going to want to go ahead and copy our text right there copy and we're going to put that in there and hopefully the music isn't too loud it might be it might tend to get a little bit loud. there that's better Okay, back to what I was doing. Up and right here. So we've got this in here. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to push OK on that. Now, since it's for an actor, which is my actor Thor, we're going to tick random because this is this is his hellos. Um, and then we're going to in the conditions we're going to click on new and. We're going to use get his ID and we're going to open that up. And we're going to find our actor. In this case, it'll be 000 Jarl. And that's all we need to do with that. Uh, random output override, I'm going to set to 8000. The uh, dialog 3D 8000. Just like that. And I'm going to put four sub subtitles on. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to click OK on that. And then we're going to open it back up. Because then when we open it up here, we're going to do a little emotion. We're going to give him some disgust, mild. It's, it's going to, we're going to leave it at 50. It's going to be mild disgust. Now, what we're going to have to do is this is our file name we're going to need so we're just going to okay that okay that and we're going to okay that for right now because what we're going to need is we are going to need our data folder open and we are going to have to go to sound voice Valhalla voice if you don't have if you go if you don't have the sound voice your ESP name. Hey Menace, welcome to the stream. If you don't have your ESP ma made in the voice folder here, just go ahead and make it. And then same with the, your voice type. I've covered this in other streams. So these are all the so these are all of the ones I've got here. Now what I'm going to need is I am going to need my voice files from my miscellaneous folder here and I'm gonna take and I've already made these these are 16-bit um, mono they have to be 16-bit mono and I've made XBM XWM files for them already so that's all good so we'll go ahead and we'll copy all of those we'll copy those and hopefully this is going to work by the way it worked it worked the last time so we're going to paste those all into there we're going to open our thor dialog back up there we go and what we're going to need is from this one the first one from eyes up traveler we need this uh voice file name we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy that and we're going to close that we're gonna right click here and we're gonna copy this condition we're gonna need it later now in our Jarl voice folder we need to find eyes up that is the one I that is the same file eyes up and I'll click on it and paste this in right here okay and we'll drop that down and then when we open this back up It'll say, is there an XWM file? Yes. Is there a WAV file? Yes. But there's an ELIP file. So we'll click once on that. Then we'll click wave from WAV and we'll generate LIP file. Now when we open it back up, it will ha have that. Okay. And this, these are the ho hellos. So we're going to do a new one. And we'll open our script back up. And Thor said, "Thor, Thor will say to you, I 
I saw you eyeing up my wife. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Copy. And we're going to paste that over there just like that. And we're going to make him angry. And we're going to make that pretty extreme. Just like that. And like that. And this is where the paste condi you paste conditions. This is... Oh, it's not going to do it. All right, fine. Get his ID. Open this up. Set your actor. In my case, it's the Jarl. Okay, okay. And I'm going to copy condition for later. Random. And audio output override. 3D8000 right here. And then we're going to open that back up. And now you will see that the file name has come up. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. And yeah, copy. And we're going to just close that for now. Now we're going to go to our data folder. And it would be wife. Right here. And we're going to paste that in there. Click on that again. And paste that in right there just like that and now we open it up and you can see that it has the files it recognizes the files so we're gonna click on it click wave click generate just like that everything's good there okay and the next one is this one here by hollow sided with the storm cloak because reasons like that and we're just gonna make it neutral we're not gonna do anything special for it now we're gonna paste conditions and that will put the get it is actor we're gonna click on random audio output override we're gonna make 8,000 okay and we're gonna open that back up we're gonna grab the file name <clears throat> copy okay and we'll go to the audio folder and that is this one right here reasons I usually name name my wave files and my XVM files which is the same same name I usually name them what I am saying in there okay and we'll open that back up and we'll generate our look file okay now I think we got two more to do. So many winches, so little time. Right. Click new. And we'll copy that. And we'll paste that right in there. And we're gonna we're gonna get we're we're gonna uh, actually, we're going to go with sad. We're going to make him look a little sad because he's got so many wenches and so little time. And we're going to click that and we're going to paste the conditions. And we're going to go for subtitle random. And OK. And we want to go back and look at this. I need for subtitle on that. You want to make sure if you if you do in four subtitles, you want to make sure that all of them are for subtitles. See, I've missed a couple here. But anyway, we'll go back to this. And now, it will give you the proper file name. We'll go ahead and copy that. Okay. And we'll open this one up. And that is so little time right there. Paste. And paste just like that and that one's good okay and the last one is yeah yeah it's right here there are no emotional safe spaces in my hold we don't give a damn about your feelings that's right paste okay okay now for subtitle random 
and I'm going to paste my condition, which was get ID is Jarl. Okay, and we'll open it back up. And we'll grab our file name. Copy. Okay, and we'll go here. And that is this one here, safe spaces. Paste. And paste. And we're good there. See once you once you get to start doing this, it, it it's a lot quicker. So now we've got these are all our hellos. So we're gonna do a new topic and we are gonna click on goodbye. This it gives you all the topics for your miscellaneous dialogue because I'm gonna end up doing miscellaneous dialogue for the combat and his idols and if you stand on furniture, knock over an object, if you jump, all the time to go, that kind of thing. So we're going to click on goodbye, and then the new topic ID will come up. We're going to make it simple. Good. Well, if I could spell, that would help. Goodbye. Just like that. And we'll click there and we'll click new and we'll just continue on continue on and this one this one's kind of funny he's gonna he's gonna say um, don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out and we're gonna make him really happy that you're leaving so we're gonna go with the full 100 on the emotional value and we'll click that and we're going to paste our conditions for subtitles random and then we're going to open that back up there's our dialogue this is going to be Thor dialogue because see how it says Thor dialogue yeah, yeah. I actually had to I actually had to do this over because I put it all in the uh, wrong folder and I think I I think I still I think I might have still fucked it up uh, I may have to may have to fix something here I see it now I can see it now because it, it shouldn't Oh yeah, it's on. It's all on the right. It's all in the right voice folder. Yeah, that's that's good. And I forgot to generate my lip file. A couple of lip files here. I noticed that. We'll get that one right. It's probably these ones. Right. I forgot to generate a lip file there. You kind of want to go through and just check check to make sure you have lip files because if you don't have a lip file what's going to happen is is he's going to say the line and then his, your character's going to say their lines and they're not lips aren't going to move and that is annoying as fucking hell to me I don't know about anybody else but that fucking annoys me okay we're good there so now we need a new we need a new one here and our next one is it's been real it's been fun it but it hasn't been real fun copy paste and again we're gonna say make him really happy that you're leaving <laughs> and we're gonna paste our condition for subtitle random uh, I got to do audio override on some other ones there because I think I forgot that. Okay. I'll go ahead and generate the lip file on that right quick so I don't forget. Well, I need to actually do the dialogue. Okay, so this is that, and that is fun. Right here. 
paste and paste and we're good there open that back up and we'll generate the lip file on that okay I, now I gotta go back and make sure I got all my audio overrides because if I because if you do it once one of them will sound loud while the other ones won't sound the other ones will sound loud and one will be like quiet and that's no good See, I forgot to do a lot of them. There. That's good. Okay. And in here, we'll do another new dialogue text. And we're going to... This is... A goodbye he's gonna say I am waiting for someone to bring me I am still waiting for someone to bring me new Nazim's head you know I may make that a I may make that a uh, you're so drunk you can barely think well I know the feeling except I'm not drunk and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna paste conditions and I'll put audio override, 8,000, OK, and OK. And we're going to open that back up. And we're going to grab our, our file here, our file name. Copy. Open up our Skyrim folder. And that is Nazim right here. And we're going to paste that in there. Right? Right. Okay. Okay, we're going to open it back up. Because now we got that, we want to generate our lib file. Okay. Okay. And that should be good for the goodbyes. Right, now we're going to, now we're going to do the idols for this one. So we're going to, new topic. And we're going to do idle. Okay. And we're going to call this this one idle. Now over here, same thing. New topic. And Thor is going to use a standard meme line. I used to be an adventurer like you. But then I took an arrow in the knee. It means he got married. And we're gonna make him sad when he says that. He's gonna be real goddamn sad. Okay. And we're gonna paste conditions and force subtitles and random. And we will open this up. Oh, 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 oh. Before I do that, I don't wanna forget it. My audio output override and so we need this one here. Copy. Just push OK because we've got to go back into it. And that would be arrow because arrow to the knee. And we're going to paste that in there just like that. Now we're going to open this up, and this will give us that right there. We're going to get our lip file. That's good. Okay. Actors. Okay. And we'll do a new one. And our next one is Watch the Skies, Traveler. Paste. And we're going to make him... He, we're going to make him actually look a little afraid. Not that he's actually afraid of dragons, but yeah. And audio output override. It's a lot of a lot of this is just a, just going back and forth across and getting shit right. And making sure everything matches up. 
I finally got my quest working, so my main quest working. That that was a chore, man. I'll tell you what, learning how to do that shit was a chore. Okay, paste, right. And we'll got to push OK there and then reopen it so that it says there's a lip file. There we go. Okay, and our next one, new. And bring it up here. And we are going to copy that. Paste that in there like that. And we're going to make him angry. Look angry when he says this. Okay. And paste conditions for subtitle random. Output audio override. I keep forgetting that. And there's our voice there. Copy. And we'll go here. And that one is behead right there. Paste and behead paste. Now this will run. Now this should run without my main my main quest in here uh, running because this is its own quest and it's start game enabled. Now I may have to. I'm gonna have to generate a sec file before I go test this. So that's good new and he'll he says this line I hear ball groove it bangs his house Carl do you think that's true copy paste and make sure if if that your cursor's always right right at the end hey cutie how's it going Okay, and then we're going to paste our conditions and four subtitles, random output audio, output audio override. And that's okay. And we'll open that back up and we'll go ahead and get our file name. Copy. And I know this works cuz I already I already did this. I already did this in my uh I had already done this in my um, uh, main quest. I ex I thought I, I thought I had to do it in my main quest, but what happened was is when I went and did it, then when I went and uh, generate lip file, okay, okay, then when I went to test it with a with a with the uh, default Nord character. Um, it didn't work. It wasn't working because the quest wasn't started. And I'm like, oh, okay, so I got to do it as its own quest for it to work and make it start game enabled. And he's going to be real neutral when he says that. He's not going to do anything special. So, paste conditions. Four subtitles random. Okay. Open that up. And there's our file name. Copy. My YouTube videos are pretty good. Why, thank you. Hey, see you later. And we're going to close that. And we're going to open this up. And I want to paste this in there and I want to paste that in there just like that and we're gonna open that up and that'll give me that and generate my lip file okay and okay and I think what do we got we got one more here yeah yeah and he's gonna say a a kind of a take on 
the standard I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of mead except he's gonna say a belly full of Valhalla hard cider ha. I'd like to I'd like to actually uh, vo do custom voice for all my guards too and we're gonna make him puzzled 65 and Case conditions for subtitle random output a audio override. I think I have to go back and set that on the last one I did too. Yep. Okay, let's just go make sure. Okay, that's good. So I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of Valhalla hard cider. Copy. And we will paste that. And we will paste that there. Okay, and we will open that back up. No. We will open that back up. Generator lip file, just like that, okay. Make sure it generated, it did, there, okay, okay. Going to start a new D&D &D campaign with some pals here, that's cool. So we've got all of our extra lines, those are all done. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to save. Right? Okay. It is saved. Now we got Now since we made a new quest, a new start game enabled quest, we have to generate a new sec file. So we'll open up test 5 edit. Okay. I figured out how to see you later. I figured out how to how to test it without having to load up load up uh, without having to load up one of my characters, which I didn't know. So, so we are going to generate our sec file. Sec file generated. Okay, we'll close that, and we're going to close this down here we're going to shut that off and we're going to run the game well you're about to find out see you later all right so a couple strings streams ago i wrote down a coc location for the longhouse out in front of it correct yes i did So when you load up the game, if you're testing a mod, you load up the game. When you get to this, don't load nothing. Just open your console. COC 000 Longhouse Exterior 01. I think I did that right. No, I did not. I, I didn't get the file name right. Okay, we'll just do that and just load right from your main menu. Right, right from the main menu. And it gives you the default Nord character. You're just the default Nord.
Hmm? There it is. There are no emotional safe spaces in my hold. We don't give a damn about your feelings. I saw you eyeing up my wife. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Wife sitting over there on the throne. There's his wife. Let's hire her up. See what else he has to say. I saw you eyeing up my wife. I wouldn't do that if I were you. There are no emotional safe spaces in my hold. We don't give a damn about your feelings. And when you walk close to me, he should be doing it. There are no emotional safe spaces in my hold. We don't give a damn about your feelings. It's I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of Bahala hard cider. <laughs> now we'll run back this way. I saw you eyeing up my wife. I wouldn't do that if I He'll eventually do all the lines. So many wenches, so little time. <laughs> Valhalla sided with the storm cloaks because reasons. So many wenches, so little time. Okay, so what we're gonna do is now we are gonna go to back to the de no, not to the desktop. Go back to the main menu. English, please. It's one of the rules of my stream. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to load the um, load this up and start the quest and see if it's compatible, which it should be. Damn, dude. You can't even spell bitch right. You must have more swords for the Imperial I've been looking for you. God, I feel That's sorry. That's something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Why don't you follow me? Hold on. Yep. Have a nice day. Not going to deal with you. There. Guess if you'd been nice, you would have. If you would have been nice and like I don't know. Spoke English, followed the rules of the stream. There's only Let's three. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay, so we got I'd that started. I need Ulfric Stormcloak. Besides, yeah. Grimane would never make steel for the Legion. He was a milk drinker. I'll take the job, but don't He wouldn't have lived miracle. very long in Valhalla. You look tired, friend. The Bannered Mare has beds for rent. And this will start the quest right there. Okay. Take pity, lady, and spare me a few symptoms. And we're gonna go COC. Actually, I could probably just go ahead and do that again. Right? Now... There he is. I saw you eyeing up my wife. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I'm still waiting for someone to bring me Nazim's head, you know. Eyes up, traveler. My face is up here. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. <laughs> so many winches, so little time. It's been real, it's been fun, but it hasn't been real fun. There are no emotional safe spaces in my hold. We don't give a damn about your feelings. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. <laughs> what makes you say that? Who says that I can't run my own damn hole? Have you been talking to that idiot, Balgroof? 
Rumors? Don't you know that rumors are like assholes? They are everywhere. My hold is the largest producer of apples and hard apple cider in all of Skyrim. Perhaps you have tasted some of our hard cider. Well then, you should go over to the chicken ranch and have a taste. Have you seen our brothel? Finest wenches in all of Skyrim. What? What are you, one of those milk-drinking imperial boy-lover snowflakes? That's good, because if you were, I would have you drawn and quartered, then hung, then beheaded, and send your head to your mother on a pole. No, usually not. But we had a great deal of visitors and pilgrims recently with the war. But since you asked, there is something I could use your help with. It is not a job for the weak of heart. Are you a stout-hearted hero? Dragonborn, huh? What do you know about the voice? Bah, the Greybeards, you say. They wanted to train me too, but I refused to be their errand boy. They can go get their own damn horn. Right. There is a group of giants which has been attacking our mammoth ranch. It seems they don't agree with their kin who have befriended us. These are no run-of-the-mill giants. They are old ones who are very experienced warriors. Fighting them is dangerous. I've lost many good men and women to them. Good. Kill them all. Let none remain. Do that, and I may have other work for you. It's been real. It's been fun. But it hasn't been real fun. <laughs> that were And then he still... There are no emotional safe spaces in my hold. We don't give a damn about your feelings. Works perfectly. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. <laughs> I saw you eyeing up my wife. I wouldn't do that if I were you. But that, so that works, that works perfectly, just like I wanted it to work. Okay, and we're going to close that to the desktop. And just because that does work, I'm going to go in here and go in here and go down to here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy that plugin. And go to Valhalla, go to third and paste that in there and there we go we got it backed up now now I'm gonna I got that part done for so anybody that wanted to know how to do the miscellaneous dialogue that's how it's done they'll probably want to quit now they'll be like oh my god 40 minutes to listen to this dumbass talk no, well, they learned how to do it. I'll probably end up cutting the video. I'll probably end up cutting the video at the... Downloading the video and cut it and put it up as a as a tutorial. I don't see no reason to make another tutorial about it since I just did it and it worked perfectly. I did it on stream. I'll just, I'll just cut the video and... Uh, When the video is done, I'll download it and cut it and just cut that part out and make that a standalone standalone video. So people ain't got to keep going back and looking for it. I'll put it on my creation kit playlist and all that good shit. I got to go use the restroom. I'll be right back.
Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't... I'm not, like, to that point. I'm still... I still gotta make characters. But the, uh... I, I've been thinking about the... Uh... I've been thinking about lines that your Scottish accent would be look good. I, I would like to I would like to have it as the uh, house Carl, uh, Thor's house Carl. But here's the thing: I got to thinking about it, and I need to. Do some fixing because I want to have a ch I want to I want to have Thor have a have a kid, dude. I want to have Thor have a kid. Thor and his wife have a kid. He's got to have an heir, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we're going to put another bed in here, right here. And I got to thinking about this, so what we're going to do is, let's, how are we going to pull this off? Because this is going to be where the steward, this is going to be like the steward. Stewart's room and the kids' room because it's it's his, it's his uncle. So so there's gonna be some thing. I need this bed to be out of here. So I gotta take this out. Just like that. And then this one this bed we're gonna go ahead and first we have to fix the nav mesh right we're gonna have to fix the nav mesh well what I'll do is screw it I'll, I'll do it. doing the nav mesh afterwards like this is a real absolute bitch dude I'll show you why here in a second and we gotta turn that around. I know it's sticking out of the wall. We're, we're gonna fix that. Get rid of the get rid of the broom. We don't need that. Now we wanna search and replace. And there should be a Yeah, the right one. Just like that. Now we have to put some nav mesh in here. This is a serious bitch, dude. This is gonna be a serious bitch. Cause what we gotta do is, well, it's not gonna be quite that hard. Cause we're gonna go like this. And we're gonna just drag this over, over to here. But this is gonna be, this is gonna be a bitch. I can see it right now. Maybe it, maybe it's not. Excellent. It was easy. Cause usually if you're over top of the nav mesh like that, it'll give you problems. Well, with your regular voice and your Scottish Scottish voice, there's a couple of characters we could go with. Save. All right, so this is going to be one of these is going to be the kids' bed. Uh, I need to voc ref type that house bed ref type because uh, when their sleep packages are like looking around, they're going to be looking around for the 
bed wrap types. That's why you put that that on your bed, all your beds for NPCs because the NPCs will look their the default sleep packages will look for the uh, bed ref type. House bed ref type. That's that's how the it acts like a keyword. And your, your uh, Thor's bed, we're going to make sure that is also, yes. There. Even if it's owned by a faction, I mean, they'll still use it, but they tend not to. Okay, so we got that done. We got that done. I wished I had I wished I had somebody to do a child's voice, but I will I, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is is um Oh I need I need some I need to I need to have a voice actor that can do a child's voice too because I want to have the 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 voice a uh, child custom voiced so and I'm not really sure if we can actually make here Yarl son and his name's going to be Thor Thundercock the we'll just call him Thor the younger Oh, yeah. We'll just call him Thor the Younger. Hey, wait a minute. Was that the guy I just... Was that the guy I banned? I bet you it was. I don't know. Thor the Younger. Thor the Younger. Unique, essential. Can't kill him as a kid, so. Child. Not chicken. Nord. Is there a Nord race child? Yep, Nord race child. And I don't think you can use. Really? Is it gonna? No, it ain't gonna let you, let you do it. <laughs> he's gotta, he's just gotta have this norm, the normal skin. I don't know if the hair can actually be changed. Let's try it. Uh, no. Hair, male, nor child. Hair, male, nor child. Hair, male, nor child. Oh, if I spelled hair right, that would be great. Hair, male, nor child see if there's anything special about this uh extra head part hairline male head parts children hmm
Yep. I know what I'm going to do. Check this shit out. Duplicate. Check this cra crazy shit out. Zero, zero, zero. Head male nor child. Zero, one. No, yes. And then we want... Hairline. Duplicate. Zero, zero, zero. Like that. Which is fine. No, yes. And then we are going to wipe that filter. Hairline, male, nor child. Hair, male, nor child. Hairline, male, nor child. And we want to change this here, so we're going to take this out. And we're going to put this one in. Or maybe cancel not. Or maybe not. I guess it don't matter. But we're going to try this. We're going to see if it lets me uh, use... Valhalla actors character Valhalla male hair what one is this hairline yep and now we'll do the Hair, male, nor child. See if it lets me. No, it's not gonna do it. All right. So we're gonna do the same thing there. What? Oh God! Fucking killing me, man. Valhalla, actors, character, Valhalla, male, hair, Thor hair. If this doesn't work, uh, okay. We'll open him back up. Wow, really? Wow, really? He's got his hair, it's just... Hmm, cancel. Uh, we'll try this here. I think I know what's wrong. Head part. Hair, male, nor child. We'll take that out. Okay. Now we'll open that back up. This might not work. Go to head part again. Hairline male nor child. Drop that in there. Drop that on there. And it just does not is not gonna work. He's all bald and shit. Oh well, it didn't work.
We'll just give him something else. We'll leave that. We'll just give him the uh, standard hair there. See if there's anything else. Hair Nord, Nord Child, right. Okay, yeah. And so what I need to do is I need to that yeah that really did not work. We'll go there and there and delete that. And save. El Kuke Ferguson. Uh yeah, this none of the none of this mod that I'm making would will be on uh, PS4 because the PS4 won't allow mods with archives. Sorry about that. It's not my fault. you and we got to give him some clothes dude running around in his dirty ass underwear um child child outfit child outfit too green the blue I, w I want the blue because yeah all right and his name will be junior Uh huh. Are you still streaming? Only now Skyrim instead of Fallout? Why would I quit? What, just because somebody made fun of me or, or they don't didn't like my stream? You think I'm gonna quit? You think I'm that thin skinned? No, I don't think so. I really you really got me fucked up with somebody else. If you think that. Disposition base. 50 and stats he's a fucking kid dude child right he's a kid and factions he will be His factions are going to be the Valkyrie Longhouse faction, okay, and the Crime Judgment faction, set that. Relationships new with Jarl. He will be an ally. And he is going to be, let's see, father, son, parent, child, parent, child, there we go. And AI data, he'll be unaggressive, helps friends and allies, no crime, mood, he's a happy kid. Combat style. Child. Adopt children. Ha ha ha! Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah. I don't know. And 
his AI packages. We're going to add him. And he's going to have default sleep anytime. Add default eat. He's going to get up with his parents in the morning and eat. Yeah. And add and default sandbox oops uh, see you later mr. Ferguson sandbox is there one for default sandbox child we just put sandbox child nothing we'll just use that child okay okay uh Okay, Ferguson, thank you for the subscription. Eight o'clock for four hours. Sandbox home morning. And it wouldn't let me add that. Really? Child. It wouldn't let me add it. Okay, why is it not let me add it? Well probably because it's not a BYOH child so add default sandbox so I will just ten twenty four okay and I want the eat to come first to come first. Eat sandbox sleep. That ought to be fine. And the, his, this default sleep package, I think I'm going to have to duplicate one and because I want to set. Actually, I'll just set the ownership of the bed. Ah, I see what I got to do. Yep, yep. Okay. Yep, I'm going to have to do it like this. Um, furniture. Common bed. That is an upper bed. Upper bed. Single right. I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm going to put child on the end of that. No and yes. Open that up. Child can use. Have to type in PC. Race to scale. Keywords, add, and we'll put child in the keyword. Wisp child, gift child special. DLC is child sit on knees. Don't 
on floor, no. No. That'll be good, though. Okay, okay, now we're going to take and search and replace that one. Just like that. Place one object and we're going to click on it again and we are going to make the ownership of that bed our kid there we go Jarl's son all right and we're going to stick him up we're going to stick him up on the second floor up here just just because I want to make sure this is make sure he's on some nav mesh yep he's good and we'll make sure his voice is correct voice type Yeesh, child So you don't have a little gray face, we'll go ahead and export face gen data for him. Okay, and save. Now I'm gonna go, go see if he's working. He should be running around too, so. Because I'm going to end up having to change his hair color, but. Actually, no, he, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to make his hair color the same as his father's. I just have to test it out here. Make sure he's working correctly. I'd love to have somebody that would voice do a child's voice, though. I can't do it. My voice way too deep for all that shit. COC zero zero zero. Um, house exterior. almost think that I used to be an adventurer like you then I took an arrow in the knee there he is watch the skies traveler need something need something hmm need something Hmm? What's up with his hands, man? Got some clawed up looking hands. I heard Hi there. Balgroove bangs his house, Carl. <laughs> Do you think that's true? <laughs> that's great, dude. Thor the Younger. Bang that shit, girl. Bang that shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what? Yes? Uh, we behead milk drinkers publicly in Bahala. Keep that in mind. Yes? <laughs> yes? Okay, that, that works.
But anyway, so we got we got our we got that. We got that running. So we got that working. Thor does his does his lines and he now he's got a kid. So that's good. Now I just have to now I just have to get the lines wrote up for the wife. Because I have a voice actor for her. We'll do a little bit of work in the hold. I think maybe I'll... Uh, I was working on that. I was working on that exterior part, on that, um, on that thingamabob, you know. I think what I would do is I gotta finish that. I gotta finish that house. Cause I need one for our thing. Um, I need one for the thing. Okay, so we're going to go to Valhalla here. And we're going to go Longhouse Exterior. And this is the house I made for the thing. with its custom mesh, so... Well, I need to... First thing I need to do is... need to go down here, go here, and go to... Dirt 2. And... make the path... up to the house. fine okay all right here comes the here comes the fucking hard part man I'm gonna do that right do this right this time I'm gonna cut this nav me this house out of the nav mesh and I'm gonna do it correctly because I know I can do it I know what I did wrong the last time I know exactly what I What you have to do, 
bring this nav mesh up and I'm not in the right cell so over here oops I will drop my nav mesh to where I need it turn that fucking thing off I don't need the edge selector on I know what I I know how I why this didn't work the last time I did this I figured it out, figured it out, man. And we're going to do it from right here. So now I actually do need the edge selector on because I need to put a vertice right there. One there. That goes over to there. One there. And there. And there. I, I remembered what I did wrong. So... And one there, one there, and yeah, we'll just, that'll be fine. There's no reason that NPCs are going to be running along the side of that house anyway, so that that and like that and like that and that and like that and right there and right there and there up this way to here and then this will be there and this will be all of that right there all right so we're going to go ahead and hold control and we're going to select all this net turn that fucking edge selector off before i fuck up and i'm going to select all that nav mesh right there And out here in front, this, this, that, that, that'll be fine there. And that right there. And this is up against the fence, so there doesn't need to be nav mesh there. That can go to that. That's got to just go ahead and select all that there, that there, and that should be all of it now. Yep. Now, what you do is nav mesh, move selection to a different nav, nav mesh like that, and you finalize. And it will put these purple lines in right here. Now, when you fill it. It'll just fill the purple lines and you can delete it. And you can delete it. Just like that. And I can see that I've got a problem. I've got vertices that don't need to be there. And 
that will that removes all the nav mesh from underneath the house and we'll finalize it again and we'll save just like that and we're gonna go ahead and we're going to move this one here just like this and then we're gonna take these two and we are gonna merge those that should be my merge just like that there now the house is completely cut out correctly now I'm gonna wanna take this and move it towards me and over this way some because now I can go ahead and start work I can start the uh, up here and just get up to the top of the stairs I gotta do it like this and I'm gonna have to boom add an extra piece in because I want to get to the top of the stairs just like that and I'm not gonna well yeah I'm gonna go over there and we're gonna go ahead and put one right there and then one right there that will lead into there I just got to put the furniture in the patio patio furniture right right and that needs to that needs to go up some I can see that right now yeah because I'm gonna have to put a vertice in right there there and then you'll come over to here and then there right and I want to drag that that way so I can drop it so it nice and level on the deck Juju, hello. Welcome to the stream. And I am going to put one right there. And I'm going to put one right there. And I'm going to put another one right there. And then I'm going to put one right there. And that is fucking screwed up right there. Take that out. Like that. Over there. And then one right there. And one right there. And one right there. there and then one right there what's the first step to do like me um, what would be the first step other than download creation kit uh, <laughs> Uh, learn how to load master files in Skyrim Creation Kit.
Dark Fox 127 has videos on that. Watch the tutorials I've put up and the ones that Dark Fox 127's put up. I learned pretty much everything I know from Dark Fox. He is the he is the Jedi Master. I am but a mere Padawan. Okay, so I got I got that. Now what I need to do is here. I need to get underneath here because I need to slide that over that way. to slide this slide this over this way I'm gonna grab those two like that that's fine go back under here and yeah I have quite a few tutorials on uh, Skyrim but yeah, I learned most everything from Dark Fox. I would say start out with how I I would say if you want to if you want to do modding, start with easy stuff like uh and, and don't don't expect don't expect it to work correctly the first time cuz you're just learning make test mods like uh say you want to say you want to start with a with a a uh you want to do followers if that is your thing and you want to make make your own followers don't start with uh standalone followers don't don't do it start with just your regular basic follower getting a regular basic custom and NPC follower to work as a follower once you learn how to do that then you can move into doing uh, making giving them custom weapons and armor and, and once once you've kind of got that down then you can move into uh, doing standalone followers You're always the most proud of your first mod, first standalone follower, or your first mod that you put up. Like my very first mod that I posted was uh my one my one girl Raven. Oh shit, that can go. Was my one girl Raven Skyheart? She was my first standalone follower that I ever posted. I still to this day I'm proud of her but there's things with her that I need to fix still and plus I want to make her uh, CBBE I want to do a CBBE version of her because reasons
Now you see why I put the vertices where I did. Out here. Like that. Because it makes it easier to connect and have mesh when there's vertices there. Now the NPCs will walk on that just fine. Now I need to put some we're going to go ahead and we're going to finalize that and we're going to save that now I need to put some furniture out there and we're going to we save that so now I'm going to go to my interiors because I'm going to I'm going to go into my big warehouse and get some stuff because I know there's some stuff in there I can use. And this takes fucking ever to load this. And Juju, if you uh, if you look on my uh, Nexus page, you will find the Tap Warehouse plugin, which is a very, very, very useful resource. Now, what am I looking for? I'm looking for furniture for this patio. Um. Maybe I should just use a fucking, maybe I should just use a uh, bit of uh, my own stuff and just build it, because then I won't have to do a bunch of searching fucking the place, because there's not, not really going to be anything I, I want, except maybe this right is it this? No, no, not that. We don't want bread out there. We don't want bread out there. We want... Because that's not going to be outside. Yeah, I think maybe I just build whatever. Uh, things that would be outside. Well, there'd probably be a table. And of course there's going to be a table. Yeah, let's go to the other warehouse. We'll just build it. As soon as I find it, God, my eyes are getting bad. There it is. Uh, give me one second, Juju. 
one quick second. There's this channel right there. Okay, we're in this warehouse and let's see, we're gonna want to, now we're gonna need to close that up Type zero 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 into the filter. Okay. And we're going to go with all. Not a problem. I like to help the new people because when I first started, nobody helped me. So I figure somebody's got to do it. So I need the common table square. Should I use or a common table round? I'll use a common table round. All right, we'll be good. And we'll drop that down. Put that right there for right now. And we're going to need a candle horn. I want a candle horn on that. Candle horn table, this one right here. Drop that on there like that. chair a couple common chairs here I need a common chair for left I think yeah about like that and now I need the forward right about like that not need the the forward one because what will happen is is if I use the ones with the forward on it they'll end up getting up in the middle of the table and it is a pain in the ass So that's good. That's good. And now we need some light. And we need a torch. We'll just use a default torch outdoors. Torch. This one right here. And we will. That, like that we'll shut the lights off so we can see see the damn thing there we go and we want that right there and then we'll turn the lights back on so that's good so we will take and we will select the, the wood around the floor here and delete the floor and we will 
select all that and we will copy and we will copy that again and now we will go back to our world space longhouse exterior and we'll go over here to our house just undo undo no 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 undo undo oh my fucking god really can't believe that just happened I know what just happened too <sighs> undo oh it's this fucking thing though luckily I didn't have the door put in so all I gotta do all I have to do is just all I have to do is just churn this house back to the way it was and fit up the nav mesh Oh my god. Okay, so I gotta go back and over. Back and over. And churn. The door was there. Nav mesh. Just gotta go that way. Gotta go this way some. And it's got a churn, and that ought to be just about right. Fucking. Fucking A, dude. It's gotta go like. Over that way some. got to come towards me this, is, this pisses me off when that happens that's really got to go towards me it's definitely got to churn just a little bit more It's got to go that way. That is fucking pisses me off, man, when this fucking happens. Fucking God, really? You gotta be fucking kidding me. It's gotta go over a little more this way. That's pretty close. That's pretty close to what I had. Close enough, at least. Hey, American, what's up? 
Just fucking my shit up, man. That's all I did. Now I have to replace my door. There, I think I got it fixed. Eh. Close enough. There's nav mesh there. It's hooked up to there. Close enough. Close enough for me. Finalize the nav mesh. And save. I got my American. I got I got uh, Thor's some of Thor's miscellaneous dialogue done this morning. Uh, it's at the beginning of the stream. I'm actually gonna cut this, cut, uh, download this video, and once this is processed, I'm gonna download this video and cut that off, that first part off, and put it up as a standalone tutorial. I figured since I already, since I did it on live stream, I'll just do it as a standalone tutorial. So people don't have to go searching through the live streams. I mean, the, it is, it's, it's saved. It's named, this one's, this is a named stream. So, I mean, they could find it if they really wanted to, but most people are looking for something else. Let's see. There. Okay, that way if I that way if I screw this up again. Yeah. I need to before I do this, I need to put something out in front of here to click on so that it won't fuck with me like that again because I am not trying to do that a second time in a row so we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy that and we're going to paste it in oh right here's good Save that. How much of a percentage that do I have of this mod completed? Fifteen, maybe fifteen percent. Yeah, about fifteen percent. I can't really go any bigger with very many more. Well, I could with textures and stuff because I, I packed up a BSA this morning to check and it's already like 500 and something megabytes, the BSA. So, yeah, I don't want to go up any higher really than So we're going to save that and we're going to copy that plug in again because I put the uh, copy. I put the uh, lantern in there so I want to make sure my backup in case I fuck things up again I can just reload. 
because I'm not going to have, I'm not going to keep fucking going back and forth, back and forth. Fuck that. Fucking with trying to fix it. There's a reason why I did that. Now I can get in here and just place this around where I want it. Paste. Yeah, this is going to make it a lot easier. That ought to be good. And we're going to turn that th that way. Like that there. A little more. And we'll drag that all the way over to there. I think that's as far as I want it. We'll go ahead and center that up right there. So that's good. Oh no, it's it's not gonna be done soon. It's I still got voice actor voice actors to get together a script to write. table farm bench forward that one right there we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stick one right there come on Turn lights off. Yeah, that'll work. Need something in this space over here. Uh, actually, no. I think I'll just put item markers there. Right. So we'll save. Now I'll, now I'll put the nav mesh in on that porch right there and nav mesh yeah it, I'm not gonna have this mod done like right away there's still quite a bit I gotta do I have to uh, I still have to make the Mammoth Ranch, I still have to make the Giant Camp, and then I have to make the Bandit Camp. And I have various houses I have to make. I have to do the interior for this house. See, this is where you gotta really be careful what you're doing, cause yeah, it likes to 
act a little bit screwy at this point with the nav mesh because if you're if you don't have it correct what will happen is is it well not if you don't have it correct if you like get too far out there now if I try to if I try to if I was try to if I was to try to post something post a vertice right here it just doesn't go see how it doesn't go uh turn up your speakers I can't I don't mess with the volume on my microphone I don't mess with the volume on my microphone because it uh, is with all my other it's set with all my other games so that everything is oh, son of a bitch what did I just fucking do what did I just do how did that end up way over there? Yeah, it's it's set with all my other games. You'll have to turn up your your equipment. It's got a lot to do with it's got a lot to do with my uh music too it's I, I got my music turned down quite a bit it's just loud see now it doesn't want to there we go there we go and one right there and one right there and that's fine There, is that a little bit better? I turned it up a little bit. Cause sometimes it, sometimes you can't hear me over tanks either. Somebody, somebody says that. But on um, special edition, when I'm playing Skyrim, should work. Is that broke? looks like it's broke no there's just two of them there yeah that's okay <clears throat> there and say My mom's mad at Facebook, I think. Okay, so that is done. Now we have to actually have the interior. Save. And we're going to copy that plug-in as soon as it's done saving. There we go. Copy that and paste that in there. Right. Now, we are going to go back to. Well, first, we're going to go to world cells and go up to interiors. And we are going to make a new cell. New cell. And this is going to be 000. zero, zero. Um, V W Thane House Zero One. Okay, hit apply. Okay, now we're going to go to locations. Let's see what the guardhouse look is. Look to dwelling type house. Okay. We're going to duplicate the guardhouse look. 
duplicate and we're going to change that to Thane House BW Thane House 01 Loke yes open that up that's all good that's all good Loke type dwelling house yes and we are going to call this Thane's house. So I don't have a name for the Thane yet. I can go back and change that. Hey, Sleepy, what's up? Well, Sleepy, if you if you go back and you watch the beginning of the stream I like show how to do how to do I miscellaneous dialogue and then you just look open your uh, quests here and you go down to creature like say for the dog which is basically the same you make a new you make a new quest and the only thing you don't need you don't need like quest stages or anything because there's no quest stages in this there's no quest objectives no aliases no dialogue views it's all in the miscellaneous right here and you just for your your hellos you just have your cat meow your cat sound meow so you get what I'm saying and then you just you just it's the same as adding um, adding custom voice basically you just make a voice type for your cat and voice types wherever that's at and voice types you just make a voice type for your cat and then over here when you do the this topic and that's empty when you do this topic and you make your cat you just put a condition on it new and then you get his ID and you you pick your cat out and then you have to have the WAV file at 16-bit mono and you have to have the XWM file at 192 kilobytes per second yep. yeah it's because you that's because you had it yeah sleepy that's because you had the WAV file as a stereo file it has to be 16 uh, 16 bit uh, mono and it has to be the 4400 4400 megahertz or whatever it is yeah that's that's all that is is the stereo it'll it'll crash it'll crash the kit because that was doing that to me too I got it figured out though so basically what you want to do is put your I'll show you right quick basically uh, we're gonna record some dialogue right here we're gonna do a cat let me okay it'll pick it up without it all right okay meow right just like that now what you want to do is you want to have it as a mono see where now it's mono and 44 1100 megahertz you can go ahead and delete that you delete this you, whoop, shit. you delete before the before and after like that and see how it's 16 bit the 16 bit if it if you don't know how to do that you go down to format and if it's a 32-bit float you set it to 16 bits 
like that and then you'll get something that sounds like or oh uh, duh meow like that it's you know at first i thought it was really hard it's not it's it's so easy it's hard Okay, so I got my cell made. I need to go back to my world and my cells. And this and this. And that should be my Thane house. Yep. And interior data. Uh, we're just going to name it Thane's house for right now. We can change that after I make the character. Thane's house. This isn't going to be the player home, though. Owner NPC. We're not going to worry about that. Apply. Uh, lighting will be far farm lighting. Farm. Farm lighting template. Apply. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go, because it's the same... Oops. It's the same interior... We are going to go back to our interiors, and since it's the same interior, same exterior as the smith, we're going to go into the smith. We're going to open this up, and we're going to fucking, yeah, right there, and we want that, and that, and that. That and that. And I need that fire upstairs. And I need that door right there. Uh, but I do not need that. Well, actually, I do need that light. I need that light and that light and that one. And that door. And that. And that fire. And that light. And that. And that. And that. And that. Let's see. And downstairs. Let's see. And downstairs, yeah. We want that and that. And that is. Sorry, picked. Yeah. And that. And that. I'm just picking the things that I, I want. I want to keep out. That I want in here. Accidentally grab that light, but that's okay. I mean, I could go through and just like delete a bunch of stuff, but copy it all and just delete it. But I don't want to have too many identicals. And that, and that.
See, is there anything else in here I need? Want that. Let's see. Let's see. Uh-huh. I don't need none of that. Don't need that. Want that. Rabbits. And I want the thing the rabbits are on. So that ought to be good. So copy. That's the easy way to do it right there, buddy. I'll tell you what. Except it's not nav meshed. Yeah. And I got to turn that to point that way right now I need a so that's that's a good start so up here is gonna be the dining area and the little living area is gonna be like right or the dining area is gonna be like right here and then the little living room will be right there. The bedroom will be downstairs. There's going to be a bedroom down there for the thing for the thing and his wife. I think I might actually uh Yeah, something like that. Yeah, save. What dialog box do I have open? I don't have a fucking dialog box. Oh, I do. But yeah, that's... Anyway, that's how you do the... And it's in the miscellaneous. There's a video I was watching on how to do that. Uh, let me see if I can find it for you, Sleepy. It would be in my history... Uh, give me one second. No. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta go here. And history, history. I'll just find the, I'll just find the tutorial I, I learned from for you, Sleepy. There it is. I'll give you an item. Creating a custom quest. And quest objectives. And it is further down. And further and further. Meh. Come on. Okay, that's. Why is it not showing up? Hold on there, Sleepy. I'm looking. Is it that one? Custom quest. No. Sentiment. Custom quest dialogue. Quest. Uh. There it is. There it is. I found it. Uh, let's see. To... So. Yep. yep. Copy. All right, Sleepy. Here you go. 
that's the that is the video I learned how to do the dialogue for from he he he's got it right that's how that's how you do the like the miscellaneous dialogue and it wouldn't be any different for creatures you just have to make sure to set your get his ID to your character so that only that only your cat would have them them sounds But once you learn how to do that, you can actually, you'll be able to uh, vo voice your, get your uh, standalone followers and voice your stand, get your standalone followers voice too. Get you some sexy looking girl to do your, some sexy, well, she don't, I guess she don't have to be sexy looking. She can be a fat girl with a sexy voice. I mean. So we're going to save that. Right, so now we are going to go to this right here. I keep thinking this door is wrong, but I guess it ain't. It's just me. And we'll just go ahead and open that right there. Go to Valhalla and Longhouse Exterior 2. We'll go over to Thane's house here and zoom in. Right there is good. And teleport and link our Link our house in there. Turn that around. Okay, and we will make sure that's on some nav mesh. That's good. And finalize it. That's great. Okay, and we'll go inside to it now. We will pull it back out of the door like that. And we will save. Now I want to go test and take a look at my new house, at this new house on the inside. As soon as I turn off the lights here, make sure there's the proper amount of lighting. Uh, we need one more. We need one more of these things. These candles. We're going to take that one and we're going to slide that one over that way. And we're going to duplicate that. And we're going to slide the duplicate over that way. Right, that should be so that should be good for now. Now we can go in and test. And save, 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 save. That's good. Let that close down. Turn off our music. Check this right quick. Oh. And we'll go in and test. Just test to make sure the door's working. Make sure everything looks right on the porch. Stuff ain't floating around. Make sure the door isn't like offset or some shit like that.
default Nord character. And I said you got mail. In other words, the be some birds chirping. I need to put some birds chirping up, up over here and one in those trees and one in the big tree. So far, everything looks the way I kind of the way I want it to. Nothing's like looks like it's floating. I gotta change the ownership of the bed. lights down here. Come right out on the porch. Awesome. Need some trees. Not there, but some trees in the yard, and the yard needs to look a little different. Let's see how much of a He does have a weapon. You guys want to see something fucking hilarious? You ready for this? Want to see something hilarious, Sleepy? This is what I did this... This is what I already did this morning. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of Valhalla hard cider. Valhalla sided with the storm cloaks because reasons. There are no emotional safe spaces in my hold. We don't give a damn about your feelings. Eyes up, traveler. My face is up here. So many winches, so little time. There are no emotional safe spaces and I saw you eyeing up my wife. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Now now I'm gonna now I'm gonna get killed. Check this shit out. <sighs> I saw you eyeing Someone do something! Never stop. come here. Leave me alone. <laughs> One shotted by the guard. Eyes up, traveler. My face is up here. <laughs> Uh, and it throws you back to the main menu. I didn't, I haven't given him no weapons. I need to give him weapons. 
I need to give him a weapon. Yep, he has to have a great sword, I think. All right. So I hope that helped out there. So I hope that help out helped out Sleepy. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this stream. Um, I'm going to come back later and do some more World of Tanks streaming. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember, if you guys want to become a Patreon of Tap Gaming or a supporter of the channel, look in the description and you will find links to everything there. So until next time, guys, remember to keep your sword sharp. Don't be a milk drinker. And always watch the skies, traveler. <laughs>